Hi, everybody. I'm Charles Mead. I'm the Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Capillary Council of the Boy Scouts here in Central Texas. And we're talking about a training program that, uh, much like the program of Sea Scouts that you may not have heard about, you may not know that there's a training program called Sea Badge. I'm joined by Dave Aronson, who is the lead volunteer for our Sea Scouting program uh, in our council. And we have a course coming up in November, and we'd really like everybody to uh, who, who has any inkling of interest in the Sea Scouting program, this is a program called Sea Badge that can really benefit them. That's correct. It's uh, it's an in-person course, three days uh, in Lost Pines, so it's lovely weather time of year, V. And uh, there's no camping involved. You can sleep in you can sleep in a cabin. Um, but the training course is three full days, and you learn all the pieces that you really need to know about how a ship works, how how to how to when it's safe to do things, when it's not safe to do things, and just how to how to go through and do everything there really is to know about running and working a Sea Scout ship. And very important, we want to, the dates, November 17th, 18th, 19th, again at Lost Pines Scout Reservation there in Bastrop. My guess is, Dave, that this is a program that whether you are brand new to the program or you have, say, maybe been in, involved in Sea Scoutings for a year or two, um, you can learn something from this that will help you. And as you had mentioned earlier, these are things that you take directly back to the sea scouting program, the ship that you are involved in, and you can instantly begin to make an impact, make things better, run smoother, et cetera. Absolutely. The, the program really itself isn't necessarily only for brand new leaders. It works well from a whole range for brand new leaders to people who are experienced leaders. There's everybody learns something and you, you know, um, and you're meeting people and get it building up a networking across the state and in this case is people coming from out of state it, that you're, you're building a network of people to rely on to and to do things with in the future yeah, i was going to say you had mentioned beforehand before we started shooting that uh this course in particular you've got folks coming from almost uh all parts of the country here so this if you can't make any other course and this is a date that is good for your calendar you're in luck because there's going to be kind of a star-studded cast that's going to be able to give you some of the best practices that you'll find anywhere. That's right. We'll have we'll have um, attendees and leaders from states of Florida, Washington, California, Texas, and um, it, it'll, it's a great program. And if you've never been to Lost Pines in November, it is it's not what you think about Texas. It's got beautiful pine trees and it's a a gorgeous place with typically great weather that time of year. Slight breeze off the lake. Very, very nice. Um, so an important sort of myth busting thing that we should do at this point is, so in scouting, everybody's heard about Wood Badge, okay, which is a very excellent adult training program. However, it is different from Sea Badge, even though the names sound a little bit similar. Um, and what you take out of it is something that's extra that if you have done wood badge you can't just say well i'm not going to learn anything new because i've already done it in wood badge right it sea badge is a is yet another tool in your chest it's while well, wood wood badge and i've taken wood badge i've taken sea badge wood badge um teaches you everything you really kind of want to know about scouting sea badge teaches you what you need to do about sea scouting and they are different and it's absolutely complementary to to each other. I would recommend everybody take both of the courses, um, and there's no particular order about when you need to take what one before the other. It, one, you know, they and if even if you are not involved with a Sea Scout ship, getting trained and understanding what a C, it, through Sea Badge of what a Sea Scout does and what a Sea Scout ship does is valuable to you because it's you'll learn some lessons that are you can take back to a troop or to a crew. It's a it's a fun training program. You'll meet some new people, and who knows, you may find out that sea scouting is something that you want to get involved in more. Um, there, w w one other thing is again to compare and contrast. Uh, wood badge normally, I think most folks are aware that it winds up being typically two different weekends, uh, and then there's a whole year's worth of work that is on uh, basically your your homework that are called. Your, your ticket that you then fill out and you uh, complete these projects 
uh, over, like I say, you've got a year to do it. Um, sea badge the one weekend only, and there are tips or perhaps homework, we'll call it, that you have to do in order to complete everything, but there's a benefit of the things that you commit to do here um, are really going to benefit directly a program that you're involved in instead of maybe the greater sort of scouting world at large. That's correct. So the, we have what are called logbook items, and those logbook, those logbook items are typically centered around things that will enable your ship or nearby ships, or even if you're not, you know, not the ship and crew or troop of things that affect your, your unit. And also we'll work with other units um, nearby to go through and do, and do collaboration. Um, so it's, it's very actionable. Um, you will find that it's an enjoyable course and you'll learn, you'll, you'll learn what you're actually doing will just come out and be natural to go out and, and implement. November 17th through the 19th at Lost Pine Scout Reservation in Bastrop. If you visit our website, bsacac.org, and under the training tab, you'll find a page with the link to register for this course. Uh, Dave, to wrap up, what's the best thing that you learned from taking CVAG? I think the best thing that I learned from CVAG is I have the tools available to me. Hey, that. I can I still reflect back on some of the information that's there when I have a question about whether or not should I do something or how should I do something. But it's really the networking volunteers that I've met and I've done more, more things with and gotten much more interesting experiences with. Excellent. Well, folks, we hope that you uh, are intrigued by the idea and we invite you to come join us out in November at Lost Pines for Sea Badge.